This is a Grobit rolling mill. I just got it on eBay. A couple of hundred bucks. Um, guy says it normally costs about $1,900. So a few $200 might be a good deal. Um, the thing I like about this rolling mill, it's got markers up on the top. And you can adjust those. You can turn them. Set the whole thing up. The main thing about this rolling mill that's the problem is that it's a one-to-one -one ratio, which means this whole hand better go around one full turn like this. Get these rollers to turn once. There's no four to one, five to one reduction here. And this is a little bit hard to turn. So I, I thought I would try to motorize this thing. That's the plan. The first thing I'm gonna do I'm going to take this uh, gonna take this gear off here. I'm going to take this handle off. I'm going to measure this part. Hmm. Looks like about 1 and 3 sixteenths. I'm going to test this motor first thing. I'm going to see if this thing turns and which direction it turns. So we got a little tester here. Well, it works. It looks like it turns that way. So it looks like all we're going to need is a gear that goes on here. Get this going in the right direction, which I think should be in the other direction. Because we want the rollers to go this way and the bottom roller to go that way because we're going to feed it in from over here. But the motor works, which is kind of a surprise for mm, stuff on eBay. It looks like I got a gear here. I got it from Boro Gear Company in Albany. And every kind of gear on there. Let's see if this thing will fit. I'm going to go right on here. Got a little set screw, but we need a little key for that. Okay, I got the sprocket on the mill. This sprocket is a Triton sprocket 40 BS by 1 and 13 16. So we wanted to go in the other direction. I'm going to put the motor over here. Looks like the best way to do this is I'm going to put this uh, motor back over here. That'll get the chain running in the right direction. Mount this whole thing on a board. I'm going to be feeding material in there. Also, there's room here for a little guard. I'll figure out a little guard to put on there. I'm going to cut a board and screw it all on. Looks like you're going to need a board about 18 by 16. Well, we got a loose chain here. It's not a loose chain, but it's exposed. So I'm going to make a little cover for this chain. Put a little switch box right here so we can turn it on and off. And, uh, and then we'll try running some metal through there. We're going to put a little electric box here. We're going to put a switch in there. So I got the switch wired on here. I'm going to screw that into the box that I mounted to the board. Okay, this is the moment of truth. Is this going to work? And I'm going to put guards on the chain, put guards on the tip, and put a guard across here. Make sure everything's safe. But let me just make sure this thing works.
Here's the finished rolling mill, motorized, with the uh, gear, the gear, what you would call it, what would you call that thing, anyhow, it's a gear protector, put a little uh, strip across the front, help keep hands out of it, get the chain covered, the switch box is painted red, so I can grab it if I need it. Markings are all there. I got 200 into the rolling mill. Got $120 into the motor. Got $5 in switch parts. And then this gear under here. That was about $12. So it's about $350 altogether, but I just saved $2,500. That's what a new mill at uh, Electrified Mill at Durston or Pepe cost.